I've been shooting videos for Pocket Now for about two years, and there's one question that keeps getting asked again and again. What's that widget that has the clock and the weather built into it? I'm Joe Levi, this is Pocket Now. That widget is called Beautiful Widgets, and it just got a major update. This is my Nexus 4, and on that I'd like to show you Beautiful Widgets version 5. This has been out for just a little while, and we kind of thought it's just another version of the, uh, the Beautiful Widgets package, so why do another video on it? But you guys keep asking about it, and asking and asking, so this is it, and, and it's wonderful. Let me go over some of the basics. Once we do the basics, then we'll go into some of the new stuff that comes with version 5. I've just dropped the widget on one of my home screens, and now it comes up with this widget settings. I can change to whatever I want, from weather to battery or nothing. So this, if I wanted to, it will show my current weather conditions or my current battery conditions if I want either one but not both. Location, it can pick where I am right now, or you can predefine some stuff. So if you want to have one that's predefined to Calgary and one that's predefined to Salt Lake City, for example, you can do that and have two of them running on the same screen at the same time. Very nice for travelers or people who have relatives in different areas. If you want to change the widget name, you can do that, and that helps you know which one you're talking about, again, for uh, help with localization and whatnot. If you want to use the local time, meaning the time here, I can do that, or it'll use the time of that location if you've got it set that way. I like using a 24-hour clock. If you don't, you can turn that off to 12-hour clock and get your AM and PM. And if you like 24, you can shorten the hours by dropping the uh, leading zero off of it. So all kind of basic stuff. Let's go over to appearance. Now you'll notice this is very nice and smooth and fluid and a, a nice way to switch between this. Before, this was the biggest complaint about this app. It was difficult to set it up and to get it to work the way you wanted. Now, easy. Change the layout. I like it with icon to the right, just like that. It makes the weather a little bit bigger. We can change the clock theme. So right now I've got default clock set up. Let's get some themes. It's got a showcase right here where it's got kind of the featured items. So this is kind of fun. I like that one. I haven't seen it before. Tap on that. We'll hit get. It's downloading the theme. It takes just a minute to do it. Once that's done, it's going to be available for you to apply. We're not going to wait and sit through that. You'll just take my word for it. If you want to go to all themes, you can look at it A to Z, author name, whatever, all kinds of cool stuff. Or you can use the uh, search feature. So let's say we're Michael Fisher and we like Star Trek more than any person in their right mind should. Just kidding, Michael. I, I dig it too. There you go. Here's all our Trek related themes and we can just go ahead and uh, let's say I like that one. It looks kind of El Carzy. Go ahead and get that one. I can even share it with whoever I want via any of my sharing methods right down there. Real easy, real fast, real fun. So that's kind of a new interface, a new look at how it does its thing. Um, overall, I like it quite a bit. Changing the background and colors is easy too. You can hide the background entirely or bring it back and change the visibility down. Just really easy to whatever opacity level you want. Hide the time background if you want or not. Come over here to shortcuts. Each one of these areas is tappable to take you to a, a shortcut, basically. Take you into a, a different app. You can configure those however you want. Tapping the time application, tapping the, uh, the date, tapping the, the weather over there. All kinds of fun stuff. I don't use that. If you want to, you can. I just go with the defaults. It's easier for me. Once you're done, hit the check mark. There you go. It's on your screen. So that's cool. I love it. You can resize this however you want. They've got new tablet sizes, so it fits better on a tablet screen, whether that's wide or narrow or however you've got it set up. But there's one more really cool thing, and it has to do with your lock screen. So here's my lock screen, and you can see I've got my beautiful widgets right on here, complete with the current temperature, date, time, a uh, nice icon of what the weather's like today, and the forecast. I can come in here and set up a 4x2 or 4x4 or whatever. This one is on my regular screen, and then I have, let's see if I can swipe over to the side, this one is then the full 4x4. I've put two of them on here, one on this screen, which expands out to full, but Normally, you're only going to see it that size, and then another one just for illustration purposes so you can see what it looks like. Really cool, but there's more, and i got one more thing to show you. Back to the home screen, we're going to go ahead and tap over here on the weather, and you can see it brings up this really, really nice animated 
what's the current conditions, where's the wind, all that cool stuff, what's the forecast, UV index. This is probably the most complete weather app that I've ever seen and it's all part of the, the widget. You can swipe over to the side and you can refresh your weather, get all kinds of stuff in here. If you want to change your location, if you want to get your moon phases, moon phases, come on guys, that that's just so cool. But Here's a brand new thing that they've added in. It's called Lifestyle. What can you do today based on what the weather is going to be like? Well, tap that and it tells you, using these nice little indicators, what you can do. So over here, I can ski. Uh, it's fair for jogging. Flu is, well, yeah, that's why I have my voice like this. Golfing, probably not so much. Hiking's pretty okay. Fishing, especially ice fishing, good. Probably don't want to go to the beach. So you can just tell at a glance what you want to do. It even tells you what the frizz level of your hair is going to be. Beautiful Widgets 5. I love it. I think you will too. If you don't already have it, go out and get it from the Play Store right now. If you liked the video, please give it a big thumbs up. And if you liked it a lot, why not share it with your friends on Facebook, Twitter, or even Google+. We're in all three places and we'll have links for you down in the description where you can get to our pages quickly. For Pocket Now, showing off Beautiful Widgets 5, I'm Joe Levi. Thanks for watching.